All right, so this is my uh, this is going to be a quick video. Hopefully, um, I say that, but I'm probably just going to drain on it. And so let's just watch the video first of what it what it does. So there's me. I'm moving around. I got my Wu Tang shirt on. The reason why I do, um, not that I don't like Wu Tang, like I do like Wu Tang. Um, but the shirt is yellow and it, it went well against a black background. So basically, what is the whole point of this? Uh, well, the whole point is that there's this thing called OpenCV. Um, I think it was developed by Carnegie Mellon, not surprising. And uh, what it does is it lets you find um, body poses. It lets uh, you know your, your computer basically be able to figure out, okay, well, how are you posing? And so that's pretty cool. I wanted to do some, some playing around with it. Here's just something very small. Um, but I think it, it's interesting because I haven't seen anything really done with it yet. Although it's it's really not that hard to calculate. Okay, so let's see what it does besides looking at the video. So in the video, you could see that it was getting my body angles. And so there's only a couple angles that I put in there right now because those are the most interesting ones. Also, my webcam sucks and my dorm room is very small. So all you can see is the top half of my body. So why would I do the bottom half? Um, keep in mind, I am a college student, so it's not like I have... Uh, incredible luxuries here okay you know i got my got my shirt and i got my 20 buck webcam so but the but the thing is that this is applicable to further higher level webcams and stuff like that so it's cooler let's say we have this great this great image um this classic image he did it to him and we wanted to find basically the angles of his body right and uh, keep in mind the only angles that i'm really looking at here are, are the top half uh, in specific, the arms. Now, I'm going to explain how this is easily applicable to legs and other things, but the reason why I choose the arms is because the leg angles are not incredibly accurate, and you'll see you'll see why. The way that CV does it, or OpenCV defines your legs, um, I mean, it's accurate in the sense like that's the center of your leg, but the angle that you might find is not going to be very accurate. Okay, so here's the test, and we're just going to look at it. So we're going to read an image. Uh, we're just importing CV now. Keep in mind if you're gonna if you're gonna be running this code in the GitHub. First off, also another thing, note the the code I'm showing is gonna be more pretty in the GitHub. Right now, it's just very. This is just a concept video, right? So, it, but if you're gonna run this uh, in the GitHub, you need to have a TensorFlow environment. Also, make sure that your GPU can handle it, right? If you don't have a uh, a decent enough computer, then maybe this is not gonna work. Um, but it probably would probably be fine. Anyway. So let's just run this image and see what it see what it turns out. So what it's doing is this is just the regular uh, CV, open CV, um, what is it called? Open pose or whatever. Uh, this is just what it does out of out of the the regular thing, right? It, it finds all your body positions, and what it's doing is it's looking for I think it's a set of like seventeen or nineteen or something. I mean I could count, but I'm not going to. Uh, but what I did was I mean I just basically copied the code and then I found the angles. So each of these angles is uh, this ninety seven point seven is the angle between um, the neck and then the right uh, shoulder, and then this is the or I guess the right arm part. I, I guess this is like basically it's just this part, right? Same thing over here. Same thing over here. So you can get the angles between different parts of the body. And here's why I didn't do the legs, right? If you did the legs, first off, again, my webcam is, is not great, so it's not going to even be something that I could really test out, although it's, I, I can just show you how you can do it. Um, but this angle would be like hundred, almost 180 degrees, which makes sense for a leg. I mean, it's straight, but it's just not that interesting to me. I guess the arm motions are more interesting. You can do more with your arms than, than you can with your legs, typically, or at least I can. I don't know. Uh, anyway, and then if you pass in the argument want blank, uh, this is a simple argument that just makes it so that instead of showing the image, if you don't want to have the image, you can just have the blank and just the, the drawings of your body. So I have a video of me uh, dancing around with that. But uh, the code here, it's it's really not that difficult um, as long as you can copy and paste the, the uh, original code. The, the biggest thing that this is going to be using is the law of cosines. So the law of cosines lets you get an angle from three um, sides of a triangle. And so if you use the law of cosines, you can find the cosine of, of any angle of that triangle, as long as you have the three sides. So anyway, uh, what we're trying to do, let's say we want this angle here, right? So what we need is we need, for, for the law of cosines to work, you need three different uh, sides of a triangle. I mean, you need all the sides of a triangle. I wanna make this like look not like a 90 degree triangle. <laughs> I'm really not doing that well. God, well, imagine this is not an, Every single triangle I'm drawing looks like 90 degrees. Okay, this is 90 degrees. So as long as you have an A, a B, and a C, you can find the angle here, right? 
And so the idea is, let's say that this is your, this is your A, right? This is your B. So all you need to do is find the length between these two points, the length between these two points, and the length between these two points, and then you have your triangle. Um, so that's what I did here. I mean, you can look a little bit more into it. Uh, and then we're just, uh, there's some comments here to help explain what's going on. Um, and so that's basically, that's basically it. I mean, it's really not a difficult project, and there's really nothing much here, but it's interesting. Uh, the thing that I'm going to do with it is to try to compare two different poses and see if I can say, okay, well, this guy is posing at least the top half of his body in the same way. I mean, maybe he's doing a squat or, or an Irish jig or something, but as long as his top half is, is working, uh, I'm going to say it's, it's, a, it's a win. But I thought it was interesting. Um, you can get these angles. I haven't seen really anyone do this, although I, I think it's uh, useful. That's basically it.